Hello everyone, my name is Carl and today I'm going to show you how to uh, configure Docker containers for Postgres and PG Admin. These two containers will run under the same uh, bridge network. Here we have demo container DB. This is a Postgres database and it has these user credentials and externally it can be accessed through port 5442 and internally in the same network to read the network it's accessible accessible via the via the 5432 port number okay and also here we have the pg admin uh, it's going to be another another container running in the same bridge network and here we have the user credentials uh, externally it's going to be it's going to be available through port 8889 but internally it's running under port 80 run this and start up our containers okay the file that i showed you just now is located under this directory if we do a dir there there you are and to start this i'm going to use the docker compose command with using the up flag okay now it now it's creating the network and the volume and it's starting up both the containers okay now it's starting up the pg admin container as you can see here on the on the left portion of the command line window okay i think every, i think everything is up now let's try accessing the pg admin Okay, we're going to access the PG admin using the host host name localhost and the port eight 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 nine. Okay, there you are. So the user credentials that we need to use are this so let me copy paste it to the user interface then log in never okay the next thing that we need to do is to connect to the postgres database so the first thing that we need to do is to create a server. Uh, we could name this as Carl server. And then we need to configure the connection details. There's one issue here because if we try to connect the local host and using the external port number, You won't be able to connect. Okay, the reason for this is both the Postgres database and PG admin are running in 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 a network in a virtual network called the bridge network. And they won't be able to access each other externally. Okay, so instead of using this configuration, we need to know the IP address of the Postgres running in the same network. And also, we need to use the, the internal port ID, this one.
then we need to know the internal IP address. We can do this using this command. Uh, first, we need to list all the running containers to get the container ID of the of, of to get the container ID of Postgres of the Postgres database. Uh, container address. Okay, as you can see, the first listed item refers to a refers to the Postgres Postgres database. With that, with the container ID, we can inspect the container and and look for the IP address. The way to do this is to use the command docker inspect and the container ID. Then we search for the IP address entry. Usually, the, usually it is the it's the last uh, IP address uh, entry in the listing. Okay, so the Postgres database is running on this IP address. So let's copy this and go back to our PJ admin. So uh, we have one seven two two zero zero and three using the internal IP address. We don't need to change this, but we need but we need to input the correct correct user credentials. Let's try saving this. Ta da it worked. Okay, let's go to the Postgres schema. And we have we don't have any tables yet. Uh, okay. We can skip that and yeah, we are good now. And if you want to connect to the Postgres database externally, uh, you could you, we could use the uh, external port number and the uh, local host as host name. Uh, there's uh, there's a configuration that I made previously. This is using uh, IntelliJ uh, data grip. And here, this is a sample configuration. Let me, let me open this for you. Okay, so we have local host uh, 5442, which is the external port. And we're using the same user credentials. Okay, let me just put this in again just to show you. There you are. Okay, then let's click OK and check out the the content of this connection. Okay, now it's connected. We can see. Let's try accessing the thread that they database or schema now it's visible oh where did it go okay there it is schema oh this is kind of weird could I refresh this oh okay my bad I think it was uh, still loading some data from the database why is it like this because we don't have any table okay let's try creating table uh, in pg admin and see if it reflects back in the data grid Create a table. Okay, person. Maybe we'll just give it a single column. Person name. This is gonna be a bar chart. Okay, save. 
then let's go back to the data grip uh, let's refresh this hopefully we can see the new table here what's wrong with this man oh okay my bad so it's gonna be here in public but this there are no database oh, it's still loading okay sorry ah there you are we have the person table the new re newly created table okay i guess that's all uh, mm, what else oh uh, I think that's all. Thank you, guys.